What it do, surprise shoddy crew? So he's sending me in. The title of this word is gonna be Tighten Up Ladies, It's Time to Perform. So I'm just gonna empty the clip. Now I actually have a whole page of notes that he gave me. So we just, we gonna make it do what it do. Okay, so Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for another opportunity to just talk about what it is that you have us out here doing, what you are requiring of us, what you are asking of us. And Lord, we just pray that you would get us in the right heart posture and mental state to continue to move forward in our assignments no matter what they are father god we just thank you for this community and i pray that you would increase your holy spirit to flow through me and flow through this video and let it be with your kids your children stand in the need of father god and that you would decrease me a hundred thousand percent in jesus name pray amen okay so i hope this video finds y'all well um and even if it doesn't it's gonna be okay okay like well, you gonna be straight god got you he always good okay so let's just hop into it i'm gonna empty the clip so y'all know how yesterday when i was recording and my watch went off and the watch said look alive okay so i googled that i was like what does that mean it means to be move quickly and energetically okay so that's where the time to perform part is coming in and so now really ain't the time to forget what we have been learning in this a wifey prep right like it went from being prep to be a wife and then prep to be your husband's wife y'all get what i'm saying now is not the time to forget all these things right we're in the time time of performance and it's so funny because he calls me the prophetic cheerleader so i feel like i'm in like coach mode right now like look live ladies tighten up and if y'all cheer you know like with your stunts and with your tumbling and with the uh your motions and all that you do have to be sharp you have to be tight you have to look alive you have to move quickly and energetically and that is what he's calling for us to do right now in this hour okay so this is just like a wifey charm video first things first get out of your head i know it's easier said than done but you have to get out of your head and i think i told y'all in an upload last week like dr joe lynn was like don't be living in your head space because the enemy gonna attack you exactly you exactly you exactly and so even last night when i was praying and if you don't do this take it all to God. Like he already know how you feel. He already know if you feel in a way, you can tell him, Lord, I'm feeling a way towards your son. I'm da da da. All that. You might as well be honest. It's not like he don't know. Okay. But <clears throat> get out of your own head. And it's okay when you are aware that you are. It's okay that you are aware that you're in your feelings. This might be your flesh. Take to God. I'm like, God, is this my pride or is he really getting on my nerves? Like, is he messing up? Like, what's going on? Either way, take it to God. And it was last night, the Holy Spirit started speaking through me because I'm praying and I'm like, Shh, I, I wasn't asking God to do none of that. But it was the Holy Spirit interceding for me because my heart really was willing. Like, I don't I don't really know what to ask in this moment. And the Holy Spirit came through. That was not the time to just suddenly, ooh, ooh, to just suddenly lose compassion for this man or to no longer want to be his friend. It can so quickly turn into being selfish because all we focus on is this, my promise coming to pass, my promise coming to pass, my promise coming to pass. That's a whole human tied to the promise so now is not the hour to stop being compassionate towards him to not want to be his friend and so when i was praying that's what came out and i was like whoa you know like god show me and help me how to be what he needs in this hour okay Show me, God, because I don't know. That's your son. You know what he's going through. You know his heart. You know how he's feeling. Now, don't get me wrong. As as the kingdom spouse, I, I feel how he's feeling even if I can't pinpoint it. But y'all know what it's like with us. Sometimes we don't. We can't even pinpoint what we're feeling. Okay, so you have to pray. You have to seek God and have him show you and then help you be what that man needs. It ain't got nothing to do with what we think they deserve. That's a wacky charm my mama gave me over the weekend. It, it, it God don't treat us as we deserve. And so if I'm this man's wife, I'm not here to be like, well, this is what you deserve. This is how you deserve to be treated based off of how you treated me. That ain't how that works. I'm your wife. I treat you how God wants to treat you. And he don't treat us based off of what we deserve, right? It is with grace and mercy, tender loving, kindness, gentleness, compassion. He's our best friend. So now it's not the time to just forget all that, right? Like it's time to perform. Let's go ladies. Okay. And so I also wrote down, you have the insight, you have the words to pray. And how did you feel? Because regardless of if you can go back in time, like how I be going back in time and giving you a prodigal insight, regardless of if you can do that, you know how you felt on your journey with God. You know what made you want to run. You know what you were scared of. And that's a part of it, right? So I'm gonna keep going, but you know the words to pray. You got to pray. 
And even if you don't know the words, don't know the words to pray, the Holy Spirit does. So you got to remain tapped in. You can't get so, where's the promise? Where's the promise? You're going to be this man wife till you die. Like we, we might as well learn this now. Right? So, um, compassion, his friend, they're scared. So I got a lot of like random words on here. Um, they're scared and I'm coming back to that. They're bluffing. Okay. And, um, It'll pass. And I got bluffing and it'll pass from the middle the other day. I was like, why keep ending up on this episode? Like, they're bluffing and it'll pass. And on the show, she kept trying to make him, like, tell me what's wrong. Tell me what's wrong. And the husband kept saying, it'll pass. Like, chill out. Relax. And then she kept pressuring him. And then when he told her what was bothering him for real, she wasn't ready. She didn't want to hear it. And then I just saw something like that on Instagram because that's my style. I think, what's his name? Jay Shetty or whatever his name is. Really like him. But I'm the one that's like, I want to talk about it right now. But then you might have a partner who ain't like that. Need time to process it. And then it's the whole, then what if they tell you and you don't even want to hear that, right? So let them be. And so in prayer last night, I wrote that down. When I said, help me and show me how to be what he needs, God said space. I said space. Like this, I talk to God, like how I be getting on here making these videos. Space. But it's not out of spite. It's out of love, giving them that space, that time to process, to heal. Come on, Holy Spirit. Okay, because we know that they're doing that regardless of what it may look like or what they even might be saying. They bluffing and the Holy Spirit be calling them on that bluff because he definitely called me on mine. Right. So space. They're scared um, and we can't be selfish in this thing. I wrote that down. So let's go back to the scared part, because let's talk about how these social media memories, they will humble you. Last time this year, last this year, this time last year, y'all can't even talk this time last year, I was like living my best life with my counterfeit, but I really wasn't living my best life. Okay. So let me say me in deep reflection this morning. I was not happy last year. Okay. Like I wasn't happy, happy. I had peace, but I wasn't content. And y'all know the hard work we've been going through the first half of this year. Right. So last year, like, yeah, I was getting in alignment. I was still struggling with some sins. Okay. But I was getting in alignment. Okay. But I wasn't happy, happy. Like I had peace now, but I wasn't like, happy, happy. And I didn't have full peace because I was running from my spouse. So that's another thing too. But I knew what it was like to kind of be like more calm. The only problem was I had given up on love. I was straight in all the areas. It's just set relationships. That's the area I had to ultimately surrender to him in September. Last July? Last July? No. Y'all didn't even see that, Meg. I wasn't even making videos last July. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I was, no, no. Okay. And so very humbled by my Snapchat memories today. Okay, so I be, I be telling myself, like, I mean, if he going through this, then I already know what to pray because I already know what I was going through, right? How I felt. No death grip, no pressure because I was thinking back in the moment he came to me, it was like opposite and it was more um, urgency on his end and more like a, you know, oh gosh, like you really trying to be locked into this thing. It scared me and it didn't, scare me because I didn't love him it didn't it's not that and so we take it personal I, I wasn't running because of him per se I was running because of everything and so God had me write all these things down healing refining change themselves I be running from myself a lot like right because you got to deal with yourself I didn't want to have to do that um and and it goes back to what I was saying in the community post if you caught it it's a threshold and when you cross that threshold, like, it's like we know it's going to be a, a, a refining fire when we go through that door, when we go into that place. And that's what people run from, okay? Purpose, being obedient, but really a sacrifice, a life of sacrifice and a surrendered heart. That's what we be running from, okay? And so, and I can say that because I, say that because I can articulate what I went through last year. I was running from God when it came to relationships. I hadn't surrendered it to him. And the moment I did, it wasn't, it's like he used my kingdom space spouse to kind of bait me over there a little bit. But the moment I was like, okay, okay, and surrendered it, I know all that other stuff was going to have to happen too. I had to deal with all types of trauma. The trauma me and him went through, not forgiving him, not being mad at God for the stuff me and him had went through. I had to deal with all that inside of me. I had to go back to childhood hurts, childhood traumas, things People randomly said about me when I was 12 years old. Like, all this stuff was coming up. Like, what? That's what we're really running from. The process with God. And so, it can look like they're running from us specifically. No. I know I love that man. 
But I was still scared. Let me tell you something else that I was scared of because he wanted me to um, release these two songs. Y'all, when, when we are aware, we settled and we realize like, hey, like you weren't even for me. Like, but those situations still hurt. Those situations still might've made your chest tight and made you cry. You get what I'm saying? And even knowing like you want for me anyways, if I can feel that bad, somewhere I wasn't supposed to be, the potential of how bad I could feel and I'm where I'm supposed to be, I know I love this person. I know I'm not settling. Why would I put myself through that? And that's what I was going through. I had just let go of different counterfeit situations, all of that. And it was like, oh, who finna get hurt by this man that I already know I love? Who who finna do that? And he already like my dream come true. Who finna experience the type of hurt I'm going through now with a counterfeit? Who finna go through that? And I was running from that, and I had to have that moment with God. Like I was like, I, you, I, I know you're not sending me back over here because the last thing I want is to get hurt over here. I knew that. Did I admit it to myself? Right? That's when God started saying, trust him. Y'all, I fought with double-mindedness for months. That's another thing you got to pray off of them. You're aware. You got the cheat codes. You already went through it. You know exactly what to pray it, you got specific prayers to pray over that man in y'all's union. Okay? I, I know I was fighting double-mindedness. Like, I would wake up one day, mm, wake up the next day, I don't know. Mm, mm, I was doing, and I was getting tired of that. You know what to pray. But ultimately, going back to me and my prodigal insight, like I was running just from God and, and told Dallas, you're like, you're not finna play me, big guy. Like, how You don't think that the kingdom spouses feel like that? If God is dealing with them, but he is doing a reckoning, so he's going to deal with them. Closed gates. And I actually see gates and hear the like the rattling of the gates. When I got scared, when I thought he was being like real, real serious, and I tried to run off and do God was nope, nope, nope. Like every gate, closing every door. That was not my kingdom spouse. So y'all don't need to worry about that. Like I, I was trying to do other stuff, and God was like, no. No, ma'am. Okay. Like, he gonna deal with them. It don't matter if you think you up against their pride, their ego, their waywardness. God is going to deal with his son. How do we know? Because he dealt with us. Even in me, like, knowing and being like, nah, I ain't finna do it. You know? Because let's be honest. If I had a choice, which I feel like at the end of the day, I didn't. If I had a choice... A comfortable choice of being away, right? That's what I would have did. But God was like, no, he was like, you're not going to be comfortable running, okay? And the kingdom spouse is attached to all of it. Why? Because the kingdom spouse is where God is at. So it'd be overwhelming. They're overwhelmed. They're scared. Like, you got to pray for that, that God ease their minds, ease their hearts, ease their spirits, right? Them with they fear, help them with they doubt, help them with they anxiety, they double mindedness, they healing. And you can't be mad at them if they're upset and it had it was me going through it. I knew last year when I was crying over the counterfeits, right? I, I that's why I wasn't talking to him. Cause he he is not gonna understand why I'm upset about these. I don't want him to feel like I don't love him because I'm crying about these other dudes. You like, like, let me deal with this in private. You get what I'm saying? It didn't have nothing to do with. It don't take it didn't it never made me like love him less because I was hurt in the other situations. And I don't know who need that. I know I did. It don't mean they love you any less, but that's still a soul tie, all types of stuff that they gotta grieve, regardless. Okay? So don't be mad at them. They they gotta heal. They gotta process that because you don't even want them and they haven't dealt with that. Let's get real. Let's get real. I know he would not trust me if I was just like, no, nah, I'm over it. For real. It's over it. Healed from it. No, for certain. I don't want to go back. And it's a different type of security when it's like, because God ain't never told me I could be over there. You want them to get to that place where they're obedient to God, where they've dealt with the emotions from other situations, past experiences, all of that. Because if not, they're going to bleed on you. You don't want to bleed on them. Why? Why? And we be, well, just come now. No, God don't want them to bleed on you. Okay, so pray that they surrender. Don't take it personal. And they really running from God. 
and everything that come with it, whether that's the spouse, the assignment, the purpose, the changing, the conviction, all, they, they, that's what they're really running from. It ain't you, but you just associated with it because you, you, it's a package deal. We a bundle deal, okay? So just pray they have a surrendered heart, a willing heart, that their hearts would soften, that they will hearken to the voice of the Lord. We're praying for their relationship. They're standing with God. Stop running. Like sometimes I be in the bed like, babe, stop running. He don't hear me saying that. Like, baby, stop running. Okay? So that's what we should be praying. That's the heart posture we should be in. We shouldn't be selfish. I I'm waiting on my promise to come to pass. He a part of the promise. You want him straight. You want him good. And what I tweeted earlier is that God has to be able to trust y'all. The favor on a kingdom marriage hits different. Period. But he has to be able to trust y'all with each other. With y'all's territory and the people in it. Okay? With y'all's inheritance. With y'all's kids. All of it. And first, God got to be able to trust you. That's where it starts. So you want him to be in a place, ladies, where God can trust him. Trust him with leading you, leading y'all's family with your heart and listening to him when God speaks. God not just blessing us with all this stuff for no reason. We both individually got to be in a place where God can first trust us and then trust us together. That's why he's saying take care of the relationship. Nurture y'all's baby. Right? But he's still getting us to a place to where he can trust us. You, you going to go AWOL? Holy Spirit, you are so funny because he know I'm a flight risk. Or I used to be. That's one of the things I've had to work on. I've had to die to myself, die to my flesh, not run off on God. I want to run off on my baby. Like, that's the love of my life. Where am I finna go? Where am I finna go? And me doing that triggered so much stuff in him. Right? And I, like, oh, dang it. Like, I had to stop doing that. I had to stop acting like I was going to do that. We're just going to bring them to the songs we're going to talk about. But God working on the both of y'all. And it might not be in the same ways, the same areas you don't know. But try not to focus on what you think they need to change and focus on what you can do. And then when you when you turn the focus back on you and God, let him move. And I know it's easier said than done, but he bringing us to a new place. We we been into the thick of it, but now it's showtime, baby. Like, don't stop smiling now. It's time to perform. What you doing? We got execute, sharp tight get right and you better do it like you're having the time of your life like i really was a cheerleader okay we ain't got time for no uh anxiety performance anxiety we nah no we finna execute so i also wrote down this hurts and doesn't feel good and i recognize i was settling and they weren't for me why would i risk my heart stop it okay Th like that goes back to what i was previously saying i know that's how i felt last year Okay, if the ones who want for me hurt me like this, how can the one who is for me hurt me? Because we give them that power. When we in love, we give them that power. But at the end of the day, we got to trust God. If y'all saying y'all believe in each other's relationship, that means y'all believe in God and taking care of it. You got to give God more credit. And when we give God more credit, we're able to then give that man more credit. Because we're trusting God with that man, with his son. And God, like, why would I not believe you or trust you got it, right? So got to give God more credit. And he's also checking your heart. Who and what are you running to? Are you keeping him first? Because that's going to reveal whether or not it's an idol and whether or not you're ready for it. Like, you, so you just not going to do your assignments because he's making you feel away? He's going to stop praying because he's making you feel away? you going to stop praying for him because he's making you feel away? Because, baby, I've been had to learn, like, he could have me butt hurt crying and I'm to him with the blood of Jesus before I go to bed. Okay. Okay, oh, oh, I'm not good no more because he got you feeling away. That's given idle. Okay, you ain't ready. Hold on, let me wait. You're not ready. You're not, you're not even ready, daughter. He also gave me obsessive. I was like, not obsessive? Who you love more? And do you understand the assignment in totality? I want my spouse at their best. I want us both in good standing. If he need time, he can have it. Now, I do be like, now, God, how much more time? But it don't matter because he got me focused on other stuff. It do matter, but he got me focused on other stuff. You get what I'm saying? And then I brought down, you need a hobby, LOL. The Holy Spirit said it, not me. Okay? So, tighten up, ladies. It's time to perform. W-I-F-E, marriage hood is not about me. Like, that's how we can sum this up. Okay? So, it's not. So, I pray this meets you exactly where you are and what um what our sweet sis Lady Jeremy be saying, but like you it leave you um 
better. Like it meets you where you are, but you it leave you better. You're going to be better. So I pray this helps somebody. There's something flying in here. I don't like that. I pray this helps somebody and um, know that for real, I'm rooting for y'all. Like I meant that in the community post. Like I'm really rooting for y'all. I'm over here rooting for myself. Like it's time to perform shorty. Shoddy, but whatever. So I love y'all. See y'all in the next few uploads.